Good evening, everybody. My name is John. I'm a weapon of mass instruction. And uh, you'll recall just a couple hours ago, I uploaded a video, uh, video talking about the internet being down on Monday, along with some other stuff. And uh, thank you to Junebug and crap. I can't remember the name of the other person that uh, commented, but uh, I was led to the uh, White House webpage where I found the newest executive order, which was signed by our good friend Barry today. And uh, basically what this executive order comes down to, and correct me if I'm wrong, because there's a whole lot of legalese bullshit to wade through there. But apparently what it comes down to in this executive order is that they're coming up with a uh, an emergency system for communications. <laughs> that sounds a whole lot like the old idea of the Gwen Towers from the Cold War. Except apparently this one's going to be fully integrated in, uh, in all modern telecommunications, i.e. the internet. But what it, what it looks like from reading it is that they're putting plans in place to where government and emergency personnel can effectively communicate with each other even if the rest of the internet goes down. Including putting in place hardware along with software now this is just what I could gather from it. I'm not sure if it meant something completely different. I recommend that you guys take a look at it and do your own wading through the uh, legalese bullshit. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to give me a better clue as to what the hell's going on. Uh, but apparently what they're trying to do is set up some sort of a priority system. Um, to put it simply, I'm sure a lot of you out there have played Mass Effect. They had what they called the extranet, which was like a galactic version of the internet. And the way it worked was uh, all data transfer going across that system was assigned a priority level. So that government stuff would have a higher priority than civilian stuff. Uh, and military stuff that had to do with active war zones would have a higher priority than anything else so that messages could be sent across the galaxy in a matter of minutes by military personnel but civilians if they were caught up on either side of a conflict or whatever they would have to wait for possibly days for their packages to go through their packets to go through the data system i think that's pretty much exactly what they're setting up here so that in the case of the internet not going down, if there's some sort of a crisis or emergency, they can send their internet traffic or phone traffic or cable traffic through to each other quickly and easily at the expense of everybody else. So they're, they're going to get the most and best bandwidth out of anybody out there, no matter what, pretty much, is what it comes down to. Doesn't seem too scary at first, but uh, Junebug brought up this idea and it kind of struck me a little bit while I was reading this executive order it also makes reference to an executive order 12 triple three that was signed by Reagan which uh, I can't remember you can find that on Wikipedia though it's uh, but anyway uh, you know, she was talking about the fact that the FBI is going to kill the internet on Monday. And, uh, her idea was that they're testing out the system, or whatever type of system that they have in place right now, to see if they're still going to have the internet if the rest of the net goes down. Which makes sense. Right now, the military has two types of networks, as far as I know. The sipper net and the nipper net. I think the uh, the Cipernet is like secret classified, so it's all like totally encrypted as high as it could go. And the other one is unclassified information, just regular office bullshit. Um, but it it goes it stands to reason the rest of the government, i.e., the military-industrial complex, 
has about the same setup. So they might be testing that to see whether it's still going to function on their own servers, even across the states, if the rest of the network goes down. Um, still doesn't sound too sinister right now, except for the fact that it's pretty much it's pretty much an eventuality that the government is going to shut down the internet in America, just like what is happening in China and other places around the world. Like they have internet, but it's highly censored, highly highly censored. Like. I'm talking zero, zero freaking human rights whatsoever. Call it the parole feed, if you will. I learned that word today. It came from 1984. It's a type of news speak. Basically, it's all the, the all the popular, popular media shit that we really hate, but the sheep find it fit for consumption. Um, but I'm I'm gonna end that right about there. Take it as you will. I classify it as one of those things that are not under my control. It's going to happen regardless of how many thousands of us scream for it not to happen. They're going to do it. It doesn't fucking matter to them. So I'm going to end on a positive note. Um, you guys saw me playing with my multi-tool just now. <clears throat> this is a uh, Leatherman Juice S2. Very small uh, pocket knife. Not the best quality, but if you're short on uh, funds, then it'll do the job. I actually got this from my brother, uh, so thank you to him. It's a very nice uh, little little tool to use. I mean, it's a Leatherman. It's got the same level of workmanship as the rest of them, but it is a little bit on the cheaper side compared to other Leathermans. Um, I've seen some out there that are like 300, 400 bucks. It's crazy. Um, so I'm going to show you what else I have in my pockets. Homemade cigarettes. i got to stop that. Lighter. You never know when you need a source of fire. Pistol. 380 type. Um, cell phone normally would be. Uh, but I'm using that to film. Wallet. I'm thinking about getting myself uh, not a full-blown wallet, but one of those like little smaller clips that you could use. I don't know. It's a possibility. Car keys, which uh, you could actually use these for other stuff than just opening the car doors. If you don't have a firearm, one thing that you can do is you can basically take the key and put it in between your uh, fingers like this. You can form a fist with the rest of your hand over the keys like this, and uh, this will form a nice little punch puncturing tool if you need it. So that could come in handy. You never know when you might need it. Um, just out of a matter of reflex, anytime I pull these out of my pocket, I do this with them until I get to the car. Just in case if I needed to punch somebody with my offhand, it's a little bit extra in there. So that's that. And of course, spare mags. Um, and why am I showing you that? Well, I don't know. It always kind of annoys me when I see chicks wearing purses. Like they, they need a purse or something. You don't really. I mean, it's understandable if you're wearing a dress. But I, I don't know. If you're out and about wearing jeans... Put your shit in their pockets. I mean, that's what they're fucking there for. Oh, but it makes my ass look nasty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay? That's what pockets are there for. Use them to put your stuff in. Because the last thing you want while you're walking around just doing your daily business is for some asshole to snatch your purse and run off with it. You know what I mean? So, take it as you will. I love pockets. I never have too many. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I have, and uh, in my pants or in this case my shorts on a daily basis. Oh, what's going on there? Uh, I'm not gonna cut it off right there. It's getting a little too late for me to be doing critical thinking, but uh, 
it's just it's just another nail in the coffin, isn't it? Just another nail in the coffin. Have a safe night, everybody. Peace.